there are lots of reasons to use the sheet spider script. Um, I like to use them for tracking my assessments in my concert band class. And I'm going to show you how I do that. And uh, rather than using the actual student records that I have in my database, I'll create a, uh, a sample one here for you to see how it works. So first thing to do would be to make a copy of this new sheet. The new visions uh, cloud lab has ported the old scripts over into the new sheets. And so you can grab a copy at their website so that you can use the, uh, the old script in the new sheet. And as it opens up here, see that it will eventually there add sheet spider and you can find out what it is, but you can also run the initial configuration. We'll give it authorization to do so. Once you do that, then it has finished. You can set up the entity sheet. You can see that it has added that down here. We can go and take a look at that as well. These are the entity entities that will each get their own sheet. You'll see that once we work through the process, but some nice features as part of this, that there can be multiple editors and viewers by using commas to separate those various editors and viewers. One thing to note is that those entities may not contain commas. So we'll send to set up the entity sheet here. And to do so, we'll have to say when we want it to distribute the data. I'll do that on form submit. I create a form that I grade each student's performance in and select the student in that form. And then that information is saved for me, but also sent out to each student in their sheet. Uh, the sheet that contains the unique entities is the sheet spider entities sheet. The column that has the names is entity name. The spreadsheet titles are there. The editors are there. Viewers are there. And secondary folder is there. You can save those. And of course, it's very important that we have a form. And so it's telling us to fix that. We need to have a form to collect the entry. So I will go and create a form here under tools. All right, and I will collect uh, the username. That may or may not be important depending upon how you choose to use this. I'm not going to change the titles or anything because again, it's just a sample. Uh, but the first question that I would use is I need to I need to get the student's name. A lot of different ways to do this. I would pull it off of, or matter of fact, I do pull it off of a student list that I also used to uh, create the entities, and I'll show you that in a moment. So I will create one that says student name. And again, you can use Form Ranger uh, to pull these names. You can there's a lot of different ways you can pull the names in here, um, but um, it's just important that you do have names in there, so that the um, the form the form responses can be matched up with the various sheets. Then I might have uh, again as part of this being a band assessment the selection that the students are playing, and I probably would have a multiple choice where they could choose the name of the piece and I would have multiple pieces that they would choose maybe a couple of marches I could fill those in with actual titles if I were doing this I would probably also make them all required questions so that I can't submit the form without everything being complete and I would probably evaluate a number of factors tone might be one and I probably would choose a scale or multiple choice maybe putting in some options if I was going to use a a four point scale, something like that. You can choose how you want to have that evaluated. And I would do the same for the various other areas of critique. And then I would be done with the formal changes are saved. So we can close that out. We can take a look now at our form responses and see that that has been collected as um, as part of the form. So now we can go back to our sheet spider menu here 
and provision entity spreadsheets. And you can see that if you want to send out a pre-formatted um, spreadsheet, you can do that. Um, but you don't have to. Um, so, and then it asks you for the feeder sheet for the entity spreadsheet. So basically where the information that is going to go out to all the separate spreadsheets in my, in my case, it's my students where that starts out. And that's obviously comes from the form responses because that's where I submit the data uh, that would go out to those sheets. Name of the column in the feeder sheet that has the entity names. And so that's student name. You remember, I said that I was going to use that as part of it. And then save settings and provision or update spreadsheets. So in that case, we'll need to have some, some names in there. So as part of the entity name, um, again, I use my name. I did last first. You can do that however you want. Um, with spreadsheet title, you can use um, formulas as part of this as well. So I'm going to to kind of make this a little bit easier on myself and have it put in there a2 and then maybe a concert band assessment tracker kind of a long title but oh well and it'll put that in there as the title of the sheet you can copy that down i'll very easily name it obviously you can do the same things with your entity names pulling them in from another sheet copying them lots of possibilities there uh, the editor, well, in this case, it would be me. Depending upon how you use this, could be the student. Um, in my case, I use uh, the viewer as the student. So the student can't edit the spreadsheet because I just want them to see the evaluation that has been completed. Um, so they are just a viewer on the spreadsheet, not the editor. In this case, it's the same. I'm going to save myself some typing. Um, so lots of different ways that you can see you might be able to use this. Again, as the form responses come in, the student name would be in here, and that's what would match up with the entity name. And that's what gets the information that comes in as part of the assessment out to each individual student. So now we can go back to provision entity spreadsheets. Actually, I'm going to point out one last thing before we do that. And that is, yeah, I'm going to spread that, those columns out there a little bit. Okay. Now, we'll go in and create those entity sheets. Everything else has stayed the same. So I can set those up. You can also add students in later on if your class roster were to change. I'm going to come back to this in a moment because this will come, this will be taken care of on Google Submit. And again, the student name has uh, the, is the information that is used to transfer the information. So I'm all set here. So now as the information comes in through that form, it is also then pushed out to the spreadsheet. And this would be the student spreadsheet. And again, to protect names, I'm just using mine. But you would have each of your students in here. You can set up the editing and viewing however you want. And then an individual spreadsheet is set up for each of them. So the power of this really comes when we go to the form. And we would complete an evaluation. Now, again, I would set this up with uh, a drop down because I would have more than one student in my class. You can do it however you want. But again, it needs to match exactly. And so you want some way of selecting a pre-populated list of names and say that this is the piece and the tone was a perfect four and I could submit that obviously there would be more areas of critique and a real evaluation but now you can see that the form responses are here because the student name is Dimmer Brett it matched that up with this entity and so if I go to this spreadsheet which would be shared between me as the teacher and the student you can see that that information is there for them. You can also put in comments. You can also have the students complete uh, a feedback, a self-assessment, and then that information can be pulled back into the other spreadsheets so that you can view it. So lots of additional ways to use this information. Additionally, once it's here, it's in a spreadsheet already, lots of different formulas and uh, sorting and filtering that you can do to get the information where you need it to be to put it into a gradebook. So if you have any questions as to how this might be used in your situation, 
please feel free to let me know and enjoy using SheetSpider.